shining a light on the struggle of public school teachers nationwide. Currently in its third season, Abbott Elementary has already been renewed for season four. Yeah. Please welcome creator and star Quinta Brunson. Realized 
the amount of miracles that have to happen for something to work and for it to work well and for you to have the right crew and the right uh, actors that you trust, it's, it's truly astonishing. And so um, it still doesn't feel real. And I remember at the Emmys in January, you said that your dream guest stars were in the season three premiere, and I had no idea who it could be, and then it was the Philadelphia Eagles, which is really good thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I wondered how you could possibly ever one up that, and then you did with Bradley Cooper. <laughs> so I, I just wonder what you think of just being able to wrangle those guest stars in this third season, and if you have any aspirations for who else could appear in that. With the the Eagles was very um, that was that that was cool because uh, you know this is where you get the cool exclusive stuff but, but like Jalen Hurts had reached out multiple times and it's been like I love this show like my family watches this show I'd love to be on this show so when we we were like okay like all right <laughs> um, <laughs> that was when we were in the middle that was when we were doing our second season and it was like. Thank you for telling us, but we didn't have anything for him, anything organic. We really do try to make organic things happen. So season three premiere, I knew that you know I wanted something special, and he was very special. Me as a Philadelphian, and I would you know, remember Jalen had been very bad. And um, I knew Jalen wanted to be a part of it. So we were like, oh, let's write Jalen this part. We, we knew we wanted to have the Eagles there to help Melissa in the proposal. But then, they were like, well, we got some other guys for you. Jason, <laughs> Jason Kelsey wants to be in it. And Randy Graham. And I was like, oh my, this is incredible. It was an embarrassment of riches. They were just incredible. They were in the middle of their season, but they took the time to film that. We sent one of our ADs to Philly to help them do it over Zoom. We didn't want to make it hard for them, so it wound up being um, on Zoom. And for Bradley, <laughs> Bradley was like another one where I was just like, oh, wait, we have Bradley Cooper? Okay, I guess, what do we do with Bradley Cooper? <laughs> but Bradley was actually incredible because we talked for weeks leading up to it about what he what he could do. He's, he's a Philly boy, so it wasn't far-fetched to have him be in the neighborhood. But, you know, someone like Bradley Cooper, it would have felt weird for him to come play a character in our world, honestly. Like, he's a movie star. He looks like one, he talks like one, it just would have been better. <laughs> so it was better for him to play himself. And it was just, we wanted something splashy after the Oscars as a student of um, comedies, or TV after a big event. You want to have a big splashy cold open so that people who've never seen your show before decide to keep it on. And um, Bradley being a part of that <laughs> was incredible. A funny thing he told me was that um, or he showed me on his phone that David Fincher was texting him like, man, you're in this show. <laughs> and, then, and then David Fincher just kept watching the whole episode. And that's what you want. You want to make a good smash, you cold open. So I guess David Fincher keeps watching the show. <laughs> Tyler, can you stand? Do you have any dream guest stars still that you'd love to see on Abbott? Um, this is a, you're asking this question after we just shot season three, which is chock full. Uh, like there was one day we were looking at the call sheet, there was 17 characters in one scene. Um, so at this point, I don't even want to speculate because I'm assuming if they're supposed to be there, they'll be there. And um, I've gotten enough messages of people asking me to pass the message along, and I don't need any more of that. I just don't. But I will say before. We've been most excited. Like I was, I, Josh Segarra, who joined yes. us this season, Woo! and Fanny has been incredible. Um, that like it's been people like Chris Summer who joined, or um, as our librarian, as our as a librarian, Tatiana Ali. It's been really exciting to have those people in the room with us, just being a part of our world. That's that to me is the most exciting guest casting. One of the things about doing a comedy set in a school is that it is year round and things do happen every year that you kind of have to revisit. And I was reading the log line for the next episode and Ava Fest is coming back. Yeah. Um, and I wonder how you kind of brainstorm how to make those things that you've already introduced into the show new again and make them feel fresh for the audience. Oh, that's a good question. I think we, we trust the world that we have built. We trust the people who know the show 
are going to be there and any new faces, you know, they're gonna say, oh, Ava Fest is a thing, I guess. Let me get on board. If they're watching the show for the first time and everybody's okay with Ava Fest, I guess I'm okay with Ava Fest too. So I just always try to trust the world that we built and, and that's like my main objective. Because I wanted to ask you, one of my favorite parts about Jacob is his physical comedy, um, and especially <laughs> in this last episode on Thursday. It's just off the charts. And I wonder how you just manifest that on set and kind of get into character in such a physical way. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like um, it's, it's, it can partly be chalked up to, like, that's just how I work. You know, I went to a very movement-based drama school, and and um, that's just kind of like how I make it real for myself. But it, it, I have to say it's more about kind of the air on set is very um, improvisatory, and it feels like anything could happen, you know? The show, as it comes to us, is usually the best version of it, and we are not, you know, writing our own jokes on the spot, but it feels very much, because there are three cameras going at all times, that, like, we can do anything. And um, yeah, I'm there now to just sort of like tickle myself and try and make these guys break. And so um, I'm, just, I'm just trying to have fun. Yeah. So, so. It's always going to be a Yeah. You keep that be in the moment on your toes with that. Yeah. So in this last episode. <laughs> Um, in this last episode on Thursday, we kind of leave in this moment where Janine has a big decision to make. Um, and I'm wondering if you can say just a little bit about how she's going to navigate that journey and figure out what's best for her. You can say what it is. <laughs> no, no. I don't know. I don't think I can say it. You have to watch the show. <laughs> Like to see from Mr. Johnson that we haven't gotten to see yet. Something, that, something of Mr. Johnson that we haven't gotten to see yet of his character. There's a lot that you haven't seen yet. They just haven't put it in the show yet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, the show, people ask me all the time about uh, what they uh, I think my character's established. And we got 21 and a half minutes to shoot a show that has seven main characters in it. So I get in where I fit in, but they're, they're going to reveal more about Mr. Yeah. Johnson. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Well, this year, the show has already been renewed for season four. How does it feel to be such an early renewal? And also, when do you start thinking about what that season's going to look like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, it, it felt incredible. We were re we, we actually knew we were renewed before the premiere even aired. It was such a comforting feeling to just know that um, you know ABC trusts us in that way and supports the show. And as far as thinking about season four, I mean, I was already thinking about season four during season one, and, and it never stops for me. I mean, my brain's on fire currently, figuring out you know. But I have this concept. If you see it, fine. If you don't, you don't, because the room is against it. But I really, I, I just was thinking about a storyline in my head for Jacob, where everyone thinks he can't read, but he can't read. <laughs> <laughs> he just needs glasses. But it's like, it's just something. These are the things that are always happening in my head. I am listening. I'm here. I'm present. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for thank being you. here. We really appreciate it.